It's alarming because now the age range for those who are now into this condition ranges from 20 to 40 years. They have the greatest or the lion's share of the condition, which at first we know now, if somebody should say that she's a hypertensive patient, the focus goes to about 70 years, 80 years. But now it's not like that. We will go to the doorsteps of everybody, the institutions, in the churches, in the markets, in the lorry stations, in the schools, to alert them, create awareness for them, for them to undergo through the screening so that this early detection can be made and if there's any abnormality it can be referred to a facility for further management to be given the ashanti region is grappling with a high burden of 20,000 cases of non-communicable diseases and cds figures in ashanti i'll just will be able to give you the estimate we have about 20,000 and more which is very very alarming look at the population of the whole uh, country and look at the number of people having the condition it's very very alarming ashanti region coordinator for ncds lydia Ousansa urges residents to prioritize regular health checkups and schedule appointments with medical professionals to effectively manage and reduce the alarming rate of non-communicable diseases through early detection everybody should know about screening the first thing that you have to do to be able to know that you have this condition the first thing that you have to undergo so that the detection of this condition can be done as early as possible and refer to the appropriate quarters for further management to be given now we want to be like the western world you know the western world they usually have an appointment you are there it comes to your phone they will call you they will even give you a test message now it is time due for you to come for the screening so that if there is something that is going on which is very bad they will act on it immediately the Setre East District saw a significant decrease in hypertension cases from 6,234 in 2021 to 4,046 in 2022 and further to 2,296 in 2023. Similarly, diabetes cases also showed a declining trend from 1,820 in 2021 to 1,000 in 2022 and 500 and 59 in 2023 indicating a positive shift in the district's health landscape according to the district health director dr justice ofori amua the reported cases in the district warrant a closer examination and a concerted effort to develop sustainable solutions to effectively address these health concerns and to improve the overall well-being of the district there's a need to have a look at them so that we can engage the communities and let them understand the need to stay away from these diseases. And even if you do have it, they need to take your medications regularly to stay away or avoid any complications. We encourage all to always seek early medical attention so that when it is detected that you have hypertension, diabetes or any of the NCDs, you will be put on medication to stay alive. Dr. Ofori reveals that the district has initiated a stakeholders engagement campaign educating and screening individuals multiple times, about five times per person. The district would also meet with all organized groups to discuss the conditions and the ongoing screening exercise, ensuring a collaborative approach to addressing these health concerns. We're going to meet all organized groups, institutions, agencies. We are meeting all assembly men and women. We'll first of all take them through some education on NCDs. Teach them 
the causes of NCDs or hypertension, diabetes. And then we will give them measures they will do to stay away from it. When we are done, we will screen them. We will check for their BP, we will check for their sugar, and any other thing, including even prostate cancer. But we will do that continuously for no less than five times. And that will determine whether the person is hypertensive, diabetic, or the person is having any of the cancers that we are looking for. So the assembly men and women will come. When we are done, we will meet with the security forces, after which we will meet with Nananum. We will go to the market women. We will meet with the Zongo chiefs and elders, and any other organized group that will need our services within the district. Report by Mohamed Nuruddin.